Hello everybody, this is String in the Year to announce the next mini tournament. Du -du 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 -du. And yes, by your lovely votes, we have a winner, and that winner was the Jurassic Tussle. It was a very close vote, it was very close between this tournament and the Kakashin Clash tournament. But yes, what is this tournament, you may ask? Well, this tournament involves all the dinosaurs that lived during the Jurassic period. Nothing to do with Jurassic World or anything like that. And there are quite a few actually, and it's a very perfect, well-rounded number of 32. Well, 32 that I've selected. I could have added the alphas, which would have taken me up to 35, which would be a very awkward number to work with. So, who are our combatants? Well, from the looks of it, a lot of wind dinosaurs. No lightning dinosaurs, since none of them existed during the Jurassic period. A few earths, mainly, well, all the stegosaurs. A couple of waters, a few fires. One grass dinosaur, apparently. And a few secrets as well. And maybe some lovely other dinosaurs as well, as you can see on the end. Right, without further ado, let's go through each of our combatants. So going in elemental order, so we're starting with the fire dinosaurs. Up first, we got a Sorophaganax. Coming in with Magma Blaster, Lillian Cure, and Kamikaze Tackle. Following that up, we have Torvosaurus. Coming in with Fire Cannon, Attack Boost, and Fire Bomb. Yangchungosaurus here with the Heat Eruption, Atomic Bomb, and Tiebreaker. Yangchungosaurus could be one to watch, maybe? Metriacanthosaurus, our local hero here, with Skydive, Blazing Spin, and Flare Sword. Right, as for the water dinosaurs, we start with Joboria. With Water Sword, Stun Dash, Triple Headbutt. Joboria could be one to watch. That Water Sword could be deadly. And we also will have Shunosaurus with the Shockwave. Shockwave always seems to make an impact in my tournaments. Uh, one dinosaur that we haven't don't see too much of, Satiosaurus. I'm looking forward to see how Satiosaurus is going to fare. And down here we have Decreosaurus. One of, we've seen a few people use it in my tournaments before. Could fare well. Patagosaurus. I think one person used this in my in my main tournament. And that is it for the water. Oh, actually, no. We have um, Camarasaurus as well. But it's on the end because I, <laughs> I actually forgot to include it in when I made my first list of dinosaurs. I forgot to include it. And it basically threw everything I had set up under the bus. But anyway, enough about that. Let's move on to the Earth dinosaurs. So we got a Stegosaurus, obviously. Gigant Spinosaurus, Tajongosaurus, Kentrosaurus, Decentrosaurus, and Lexovosaurus. And we don't have Woohoosaurus because that Stegosaur actually lived in the Cretaceous period. And it was the very last Stegosaur to exist. Here's a fun fact for you. So yeah, Stegosaurus is probably going to be quite deadly. A lot of these Earth dinosaurs could definitely make an impact in this tournament. Right, on to the only grass dinosaur in this tournament. We have Camptosaurus. But it does have a doozy of a moveset here. So Camptosaurus flying the flag for the grass dinosaurs. But do not underestimate its strength. Okay, now on to the wind dinosaurs. And I think, I think there's more wind dinosaurs in this tournament than any other dinosaurs. So... We have, obviously, Aloatrox, with the biting wind, naturally. Ceratosaurus, one of the iconic dinosaurs from the from the Jurassic period. A Throvenator, who remembers the grudge match between a Throvenator and Joboria. Will we see a rematch? You never know. Allosaurus, again, one of probably the most iconic dinosaur from the Jurassic period. Sinraptor, which is basically Allosaurus from Asia. And we have Monolophosaurus, you strip the Spondylus. Piantnitskisaurus and Dilophosaurus. Oh, and Sejuangosaurus as well. So, a lot of the weaker wind dinosaurs, but there's our champ from the Wicked Wind tournament here, Sejuangosaurus. Can he be the first dinosaur to win two mini tournaments? We do actually have a few winners from previous tournaments in here as well, as you will see later on. Right, on to our secrets, and there are three of them. We have Megalosaurus, Kralophosaurus, and Apatosaurus. So, I'm looking forward to a Pat seeing Apatosaurus in action. It's the one secret dinosaur you just don't see too much of. It doesn't see too much play. And then I obviously put the Camarasaurus here because I forgot about it. <laughs> and we have some space pirate dinosaurs as well. Because I needed to fill the gaps to make it... I needed to make up 32. So we have Armatus returning from its victory in the Earthshakers tournament. Can Armatus win a second mini tournament? And probably the tournament favourite, we have Brontokins. I decided to put Brontokins in because it, it, it is different to a Patasaurus because it's, it's a water type and not secret type. So I, just, so I feel like it was justified and I needed space and I needed someone to fill the gap. <laughs> so Brontokins is into play. Almost won the water washout tournament. 
can he make up for it here? And that is our lineup, ladies and gentlemen. Now for the fun bit, putting all these guys in here. So yeah, it is a knock. 32 knockout tournament and we will be reduced to two and whoever wins this final matchup will win it all so give me a sec while i set up the numbers and we will get on with this random number generator drawiness right let's get on with this shall we and let's see who is up first Ooh, metriacamphosaurus and his opponent shall be number 14 so it's metriacamphosaurus going up against kentrosaurus right let's move on no, come on, dude, we just had 14. Okay, so we got 21. Ooh, we got an Allosaurus. Can Allosaurus, the legacy dinosaur, win the Jurassic Tussle tournament? Okay, his opponent is going to be number 20. Ooh, it's going to be a tough match for Allosaurus. Going up against the Cryo. Ooh, that's, that's going to be a pretty tough match for Allosaurus there. Might have to enter the Allosaurus memes after that match. But anyway, let's see who will feature in match number three. Okay, so we ooh, we got another one of the iconic dinosaurs, the Steg. Steg's opponent is going to be going up against the Creosaurus. Right, up next we have got well we haven't got, how many times is number 14 gonna show up? Ooh, ooh, here we go. We got a Patasaurus, the secret one. And his opponent's going to be Ooh, tough match for the Ceratosaurus there. It's a Patasaurus going up against Ceratosaurus. Okay, then moving on. Number 18 is Aloatrox. And Aloatrox's opponent is going to be... Ooh, Sedgwongosaurus, the champion of the win tournament. Well, it should be straightforward for Atrox, but we all seen what Sedgwongosaurus did before. Do not underestimate her. But anyway, let's move on to our next matchup. Number... Oh, we've had number 8. Number 22 ooh, is, is the Sign Raptor. The Asian Allosaur, and he is taking on number 25. Another another wind all wind clash here between Sinraptor and Pianitskisaurus. Right, let's see who's going to feature in the next matchup. So number 18, we've had number nine. Oh, it's the Camarasaurus, my wild child, and his opponent is going to be number 15. So it's Cam Camarasaurus going up against the Centaurus. Decentralurus, one of the surprisingly more popular dinosaurs in my in my tournament. It does feature in quite a few teams. Let's see who features next. Number 20. Ooh, we got the Afrovenator, the African hunter itself. And will his opponent be Joe Boria? Number 14. No. Oh, it's not gonna be Joe Boria. Instead, he's going up against Armatus. Right, we are halfway through the draw, and we have quite a few water dinosaurs left to go for, to for, go through there. Notice, quite a few wind dinosaurs have gone already. Only three left standing. Let's find out who will face who in the second half of round one. Number six. Ooh, ooh, Satiosaurus. Looking forward to seeing Satiosaurus. Right, your opponent is going to be num no. You can't play yourself. <laughs> Oh, we got an all-water clash between Satyosaurus and Patagosaurus. Right, let's see who will face who in the 10th match of this tournament. And that is number 4. So that is Joe Boria. And Joe Boria will be taking on number 13. So that is Eustreptospondylus. So we're going to have Joe Boria versus Eustreptospondylus as our 10th match. Right, on to match number 11. Oh, and it's number 11, and that is our lone grass dinosaur in this tournament, the Camptosaurus. And Camptosaurus' opponent is going to be, well, it can't be, you can't play yourself. Ooh, it's going to be Camptosaurus versus Torvosaurus. Now, that could be a grudge match. Could be a grudge match brewing between those two, Predator and Prey. Right, moving on to our 12th match, which is going to see Gigant Spinosaurus in it. And Gigant Spinosaurus' opponent is going to be, ooh... That's a tough draw for Gigant Spinosaurus. It's going to take on Brontokins. Right. Ooh, we got Sorophaganax featuring next. So Sorophaganax going into the 13th match. And he will face... Ooh, we got an all-fire clash between Sorophaganax and Yangchanosaurus. 
All right, since we're down to our final six combatants, I'm going to reduce the number generator range here from one back down, down to six. And our six remaining combatants are Shunasaurus, Tajongosaurus, Lexovasaurus, Molophosaurus, Dilophosaurus, and Megalosaurus. So let's see who will face who. Oh, oh getting Megalosaurus out the way there. Megalosaurus coming in. And Megalosaurus's opponent is going to be Dilophosaurus. Ooh, that's going to be tough for the Dilophosaurus there. Taking on the Meg. Right, we are down to our final four. So let's fight. Let's conclude this draw, shall we? Ooh, Lexovasaurus. So Lexovasaurus finally getting called up. And Lexovasaurus's opponent is going to be a Monolophosaurus. So a clash of the relatively weaker dinosaurs. And if my, if I'm correct, which I am, that leaves us with Shunosaurus taking on Tajongosaurus. So I'll just do the random number generate the draw here to see who goes where. Okay, so it's Tajongosaurus going up against Shunosaurus. Well, that is our lineup, ladies and gentlemen. Some interesting matches here. Um, the one that probably draws my attention the most well I, i'll be intrigued to see this matchup to see how the gigant spinosaurus fares against brontokins although i don't think it's going to end well for this dude unfortunately uh this match could be interesting these two matches are actually quite interesting here lexovasaurus could be one to watch in this tournament ceratosaurus i'll be, I'll be intrigued to see how ceratosaurus fares against the apatosaurus i am actually looking forward to this matchup as well because we all saw how well the Sejuang did in the win tournament. And can he pull off the upset against the Atrox? Speaking of Allosauruses, can the other Allosaurus pull off a shock win against the Cryo? I I don't know. It might be he might he might do it. He might do it. So that is our lineup for round one of this tournament, ladies and gentlemen. Any matches you're looking forward to in particular? Who do you think's gonna win this tournament? I mean, the cop out would be to say Brontokins, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna go with Stegosaurus. I don't know why. I'm just gonna go with Stegosaurus to win. Watch it losing the first match now. <laughs> but that is the beauty of this tournament. You never know who's gonna win. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you're looking forward to the start of this tournament, which should be soon. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out. Mm -hmm.